taking a zero right now in Duncannon, Pennsylvania. This is the Susquehanna River. Gonna get something to eat. See if I can find a place to get some food. Need some bandages, some other meat, random weird stuff. Red Carpet Inn, where I'm staying, is really nice. Been very helpful. They're gonna do, I'm gonna do a slack pack with them tomorrow. A little stinky. Big river. There's the bridge you hike over. This is the main drag in Duncannon. On a lazy Sunday afternoon. that red brick building there with the white porch is the famous Doyle Hotel. Kind of a hiker hostel. Kind of funky place to stay, so I'm not staying there, but I'm probably going to eat there. I am hungry. The Doyle Hotel. Check out this. Looks like a train station. Beautiful 80 degree day. Got my shoes almost dried out. I actually soaked them in the bathtub, they smelled so bad. Definitely an old train station. It's being used for something else now. I doubt if this is a passenger line, probably a freight line. Good morning. It is May 20th, a Monday. Where's my backpack? I am slack packing today. About 18 miles back to Duncannon. Had a heck of a time finding where the uh, trail meets the road. The guy that drove me didn't know. And I didn't really know we were relying on maps. But we eventually found it. It's about 8 o'clock. Got a big steep uphill here. And then uh, should be pretty chill after that. But I had heard that people were defacing trail markers here because they don't like the hikers. And I saw evidence where they cut the sign down on the road. Normally there's a big sign. Appalachian Trail North, Appalachian Trail South. But you could tell the sign was cut off. It's not even nine o'clock and all my climbing for the day is done. That is a good feeling. Got some little ups and downs, but nothing major. Be kind of walking on this flat plateau. Probably for the next 13 miles. Yikes. 
What? A view? Kinter view. Go check it out. <clears throat> A view to the south, they say. Promising. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's been uh, reports of people vandalizing the white blazes because they don't like hikers. What's wrong with people? Oh, there's a white blaze. They didn't get that side, idiots. Yeah, I've seen a couple like that. Ooh, look at this. Caterpillar jail. What's going on in there, I wonder? Alright, another view, Table Rock. Okay, pretty. And the sun's out. Another half hour and I'm gonna stop for my lunch. That would be a great place to have it. All right. I am down from the mountain. Get to cross some railroad tracks on the Susquehanna River Bridge. It's been a rough day. And my slack pack. Boy, that was hard. In like two and a half hours, it was halfway through, the uh, trail turned into a mess, rocky mess, Rocksylvania. 
guess I got a taste of it. I believe this must be pedestrian bridge. Oh, oh man. Hope so. It's pretty cool. Although I hate being on a structure like this, I'm already starting to get freaked out a bit. This tilt here. <laughs> ah, the day is almost over. But I'm uh, so wiped out, I'm not even carrying a backpack. Good morning. It's May 22nd, Tuesday. After my slack pack day, my day off, I'm back on the trail with a full backpack. Good stay in Duncannon, the red carpet in. see what the day brings there's supposedly a beaver dam detour up ahead I guess they always flood the trail but some reports I've gotten on the trail app says it's passable see if, see if we could find out any info from Hikers that pass me. Cool morning in the 50s. Stocked and locked and ready to go. Been a pleasant little hike so far. Done with most of my uphill. I got one more coming up. Thought I averaged miles an hour climbing up it which is good talk to a sobo hiker he took the beaver dam bypass trail he said it was easy so I think I'm gonna do that I like easy hard enough out here supposedly you need mad balance skills to get through it. They put a bunch of logs down. So you're walking over logs. But I heard it is difficult, so I'll take the easy. It's about nine. Couple hikers have already passed me. It's been a wonderful morning. I think it's noon now. A little hot, but not terrible. But the trail's been pretty chill. A lot like this.
No idea where I'm stopping tonight. I think I'm on the edge of a state park where camping is restricted. But I think I had pegged out 183 or mile 1183. 1182, 1184. There's a campsite next to a river or stream. Which sounds ideal. All right, just had lunch here. It's about 1.30ish. Roche Creek. There's a shelter, 0.3 uh, away. I didn't feel like hiking to it, so I just sat down here. It's been a pretty good day of hiking. Still not sure where I want to stay. Whew. About a half hour back I had a really pleasant surprise coming along the trail southbound were two ladies I met in 2022 and I used to I called her the lifesaver lady because as you'd pass her she'd hand you a lifesaver a cherry lifesaver and I recognized her right away she was amazed that I recognized her and then she recognized me once I filled her in on all the places we met. Her real trail name is Jingles. And her friend I recognize too, she's uh, Stevie Wonder. But I ran into them five, six times in 2022 through my section hike, right around the Grayson Highlands and Weary Feet Hostel. I think my son Trevor met them as well at weary feet so yeah it was really neat seeing them again and she didn't have lifesavers boo but one day uh, probably the biggest day I had done back then 11 miles from uh, where was it white top I can't remember the other name of that mountain but I wanted to make it to Grayson Highlands that day and hiked 11 and a half hours. And I had one of my last climbs and I was just so wiped out. And I remember her giving me that cherry lifesaver and it just, boom, awakened me. Probably the sugar, but. <laughs> yeah, so, and they're out doing a big section. They, uh, they, they do day hike, like hostel to hostel. So I don't think they ever really stay out in the woods at night and pretty sure I will see them up the trail because they're hiking north more they go north south north south they use two cars and stay at a lot of hostels and hotels which is a more civilized way to do it <laughs> at least you get a shower every night Oh yeah, very neat. Very, very neat. Getting close to the Beaver Dam bypass. It should be like 0.5 up the trail. Definitely been a forest fire up here. Wonder when. This is second mountain. It was hard getting up here. I took the bypass trail hoping I'd avoid having to climb it. And the climb was probably harder than if I had stayed on the uh, trail. But I didn't have to get my feet wet in the beaver dam.
Yeah, you could, these trees of little bushes have taken over and the ferns taking advantage of the light because the trees are all burnt. We'll have to look that up when the fire happened. I believe those are berry bushes. Well, they look a little different than mine. Oh, downhill for the rest of the day. That last climb really wiped me out, man. Late in the day. It's not that late, it's three. But I've been hiking hard all day, so those late climbs. This one's charred and still growing. Survivor, strong guy, strong tree. It's been hotter, probably the hottest day I've had so far. and sweat all day. Whew. I have drank a lot of water on my fourth liter. Good morning. Ooh, spider web facial. It is Wednesday, May 22nd. Probably about 55 degrees out. Nice and cool. Had a pleasant night at that tent site back there. Got 17.3 miles planned for today. To Heartline Campsite. The site of an old shelter. Now it's a camping spot. Struggle for water yesterday. Carried three liters to my site. The comments in my app said there was water just 0.1 past the site. I went looking for it, couldn't find it. Of course, this morning, if I had just walked 100 more yards, I would have found a <laughs> nice water source. So, duh. Should be a good day, no rain. Tomorrow, maybe rain. Mid 80s, supposed to get up to. Let's hope it's cooler up in the mountain. I gotta climb. I do have a big climb in about an hour. But that's it. That should be it for the day for the most part. Well, my knees feeling kind of funky. Hopefully, that'll work itself out. Walking through Swartha State Park. Where camping is restricted, but we just camped on the edge of it last night. Ugh. One thing about Pennsylvania, I think you're always close to civilization. You always hear road noise, even at night. I think we're close to I-81. But even late at night, you hear the cars and trucks humming. Fernwood, USA. Looks like the sun's out. It's uh, maybe a little before 7. I started hiking at 6.30. And I got up at 
couldn't really fall back asleep, so tore my tent down at 5.30. Had some coffee and some breakfast. Hit the trail. Saw about three or four deer yesterday. So far the most popular animal I've seen has been chipmunks. Probably see about 10 or 12 a day. And they squeal. Whenever they see me and I startle them, they squeal and take off. There's I-81. And I am in Swartha Gap State Park. Taste of Roxylvania here. <sighs> Pennsylvania hasn't been too bad yet. Private stretches of this. It isn't too hard if you find flat rocks. You just go from rock to rock. Like stepping stones. Key is picking the right path. Taking your time. Coming upon the 501 shelter, which supposedly is a cabin. With a caretaker next door. A solar shower, water spigots. Right off. PA 501. I'm gonna stop here for a proper lunch. This is different, that's for sure. Eleven miles already, or more, I think. Line. Probably where the caretaker lives. Last mile and a half, it was so hard. Boulder field after boulder field. The trail was either real easy today or really hard. 
think I have two miles left. I hope I do, or less. Oh. What? Look at that. Oh, baby. Swing. Oh, awesome. Looks pretty dark in here, huh? Good morning. Actually, about 7.30. Thursday, May 23rd. Had a thunderstorm hit about 5 a.m. Started hiking about 6.45. It, definitely another thunderstorm brewing. Hopefully it doesn't hit. I'm trying to make a hotel tonight in Hamburg. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get there. See how the day goes. Feeling good. It's 18.6 to the road and then another 1.7 to the hotel. I'm not sure if I have that in me, but we'll see. After a one mile up, the trail again stays on this plateau for about 17 miles. Got some water in my tent because one of my rainfly stakes popped, but no big deal. Easily contained. We'll see how the day goes. It's about noon, a little after. Haven't recorded much because uh, about a mile out of camp, I got hit by a thunderstorm. Crazy, lightning right above me, sideways rain, pouring, pouring, pouring. <laughs> I stayed dry, the top part of me, with my poncho. It's pretty freaky though, a massive downpour. So my shoes are trash and wet. So, saw one of those orange salamanders earlier. Haven't seen one since Tennessee. That was pretty cool. So yeah, looking forward. I have to resupply. I have four more. <laughs> Almost fell. I have four, four more days to get to my next resupply box. And I need some dinners. Fell earlier today too. Just slid right off a rock. Tried and tried not to go down, but I went down. Not hard, didn't hurt myself. Though my knee feels funky. And I got a gnarly climb down into Port Clinton. I was talking to the shuttle driver and his passenger about it. The passenger just did it yesterday. He said, just take it really slow. So probably a lot like the descent into Duncannon. Every day in Pennsylvania seems to end with a butt kicking downhill or an uphill. And doing 17 and 18 mile days. Need to slow down. Cause I've been dead at the end of the day, every day. So tomorrow I'm gonna try and cut back. 
15 or 16 miles. We'll see. Hello, good morning. It is Friday, May 24th, about three miles out of Hamburg. Spent the night at a nice hotel last night. <sighs> I did more than 20 miles to get there. 18.2 on the trail, but a bunch of uh, road walking and whatnot. Nice sunny day, no rain for the next couple days. And the next uh, couple days, I'm hitting the crazy parts of Pennsylvania. Knife's edge, a lot of rock scrambling. That mile, probably 12.24. So I got, oh, 75 miles, 60 miles to get out of Pennsylvania, which I am looking forward to. Not crazy about Pennsylvania. Kind of boring, really no views. And I got rained on a lot. But, part of the trail so you gotta hike it all I've been doing is going up and down today trails probably the busiest I've seen it there's hikers in front of me hikers in back of me coming up on the weekend so probably gonna run into a bunch of weekend hikers which is cool. Finally a view. I've been hiking for 10 days. I am on the pulpit. Oh, about seven hours out of, or seven miles out of Hamburg. 11 o'clock. Pretty nice. All right. Here is a little snippet of Rock Sylvania. Sometimes you can't even tell where the trail goes. I think it goes this way. Sometimes it's easiest just to stay on top of the rocks and hop over all the crap. If you got confidence in your balance, because if you fall, it's not gonna be good. And where's the trail go? 
Here's a good example. Is this a trail? A foamy tree. There's a white place. <sighs> Certainly not conducive to fast hiking. <laughs> This is interesting. This must be where they keep all the spare rocks to throw in the trail. Probably only got three and a half miles to go. It's gonna be an early day. 15 and a half miles. I'm gonna try and cut back my miles. I've just been hiking to the point of exhaustion every day. And it's supposed to be fun. Right. <laughs> I am at Eckville Shelter. Where's the shelter? I'm in the tent area. Beautiful tent pad. Look at that. Got my tent drying out. It's still wet from that nasty morning yesterday. Across the road is a shelter. It's a bunkhouse. There's a caretaker right next to the place. Picnic table for me. But across the road, they got a bunk bunkhouse, solar shower, flush toilet, spigot of water. I woke up the uh, caretaker. He was napping on his front porch. He said, don't worry. I could take off where, you, where I left off. <laughs> it's about 3 eight, or 3.15ish I rolled in here. Eight hours. Not bad. Got to figure out what I'm doing tomorrow. Good morning. It's Saturday, May 25th. Had a great night at that last campsite. Uh, a couple I had met on my second day showed up. They're a fun couple from Maryland. I'm sure I mentioned them before. They're going to hike with their son today. who's somewhere in, up the trail here. And I took a late start because there's a restaurant I plan on going to and it doesn't open till noon. So rather than getting there and just waiting for it to open, I should get there 11.30ish. Dried out my tent yesterday in the sun and then it was so dewy in that field I camped at that got all wet again. And I'm not sure where I'm going to end up. There's a shelter 17 miles where I'd like to make it, but I'm not sure because I'm going to have to climb, or not climb, but go over a knife's edge today if I choose to go that far. And it might be late in the day. 
where my legs are not as strong as they are in the morning. So we'll see. Trail's awfully busy. There's probably 25 to 30 people at that last shelter. A lot of Pennsylvania has been like this. It's fairly gentle, wide, old forest roads. Yesterday I had a long stretch like this. I made a change of plans. I'm going to stop at a hostel tonight. Just about three miles up. I didn't feel like doing the knife's edge. And there's another boulder scramble after that. And then the shelter I was going to stay at. I forgot. I think it's Cable Mountain. I heard there's a nasty rock scramble down until you get to the shelter. So that would be late in the day for me. Rather do it on fresh legs. There's a big storm coming Monday, everyone's talking about. Then tomorrow on Sunday, I could tackle it and maybe try and get a shuttle to the hotel I'm staying at in Wind Gap and then take my, mon my zero on that Monday with the crazy storm. We'll see. I got one or two shuttle drivers I can call when I get to the restaurant. Thunderbird restaurant. It's about 2.8 up. The hostel is just another point one. Get to sleep in the bunkhouse tonight, but I get a shower, laundry if I want to do it. And the restaurant's just point one away, so I could eat lunch and dinner there. I'm in the Lookout Hostel. Ah, <sighs> did a 12 mile day to get here. Downstairs, there's a private room there, living room. Guitar and a banjo. <coughs> Big rainstorm Monday, so I gotta change plans. That's gonna work out perfectly. My tent got soaked last night because of the morning dew. Even got my quilt, so it's out in the sun drying. And I just dried it yesterday. Be perfect for it. No idea what road this is. Maybe Pennsylvania 309. There's an older lady in the shower, which I'm going to hit up as soon as she's done. And a younger guy down there. A little common area out here. Fire pit. Some chairs. Picnic bench. And a great view, I mean, amazing view. We even have a little map if you wanna locate stuff. And the American flag. America! Good morning, Sunday, May 26th, a foggy morning, cool, I like it, rained a little last night, probably no rain today, got 14 miles to go to get picked up, going over Knife's Edge, Bear Rocks, and Bake Oven Knob. Gnarly, rocky, 
parts of the trail, supposedly. We will see. Had a wonderful night in the Lookout Hostel. There's a restaurant right down the street. Ate some fish and chips. And I ate there for lunch. Yesterday had a blue cheese cheeseburger. It was awesome. And look what I found. Hey buddy. A spotted salamander. An orange one. Another one. <laughs> salamander day. Gotta watch now. I don't want to step on one. Read something very interesting about them this morning. That when you see them and they're orange, they're in their newt stage. So kind of like a tadpole. And they're that way for two years. And when they mature, they go back into the water and turn green. But they keep the spots. All right, I'm about to tackle Knife's Edge. Took a little break. Did I think three hours in an hour and a half. There it is. And that's the trail getting up here. Eee. Clouds rolling by. Looks a little fun, looks a little dangerous. Let's do it. Survived a nice edge. That was pretty, pretty gnarly, pretty cool, pretty exciting. I'm actually walking back to it. it took me maybe 10 minutes to get over it. Definitely not a half mile. I did a lot of it just with my hands. Poles were useful somehow, sometimes, but not always. So it's a lot of a hand scramble. Hey, there's a hiker up there. Just ran into Destiny. She's a flip-flopper hiker, older lady, retired LAPD. She's going Sobo on a slack pack day. She was at the hostel last night. And she's also a plane instructor. She flies and teaches people how to fly. Pretty cool lady. Rest of the day should be pretty chill. I uh, have to go up bake oven knob, which is a big, not a huge climb, but a hefty climb. I heard the south pond, or the south side of it, this is another big rock scramble. But I kind of like them, actually. It's an interesting hike. It's not like this where you just walk. You have to think about where to put your next foot. Make sure it's... Uh, stable base one thing that was dicey was uh the knife's edge was wet from the fog this morning condensating on it but i have to say it was kind of fun <laughs> 
One thing about the knife edge would have been nice to get the views off it, but I was in a fog bank. Destiny said she'd sit up there till the sun burns it off. <laughs> But she's only doing five miles today, so she has lots of time. And it's still pretty early. It's only 9 and 15-ish. Three more days counting this one to get out of uh, Pennsylvania. Maybe three and a half. Excited about New Jersey. It's always cool to hit another state and I heard the beginning of New Jersey is just like Pennsylvania with the rocks for a while so we shall see my wound from knife's edge it cut me <laughs> good morning. smelled so good. You could always tell day hikers. Going up the bake of a knob. This is the right way. A white blaze would be nice. Two snakes right in front of me. Rattlers. Scared the hell out of me. I heard this noise. I'm like, what's that noise? <sighs> Finally, rattlesnake. Hey guys, what's new? Don't be coming around here, buddy. That one's pretty healthy. Walking this pretty ridge here. Kind of a view. Exciting day. Some gnarly hiking and rattlesnakes I think that's a view of Lehigh Gap down there and I bet that's the old zinc smelting place it's a brown EPA site 
Oh, look at that. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Hope you show up on camera. Come back here. If that's a turkey vulture or a hawk or an eagle. Oh, right over my head. Just cruising. Hope they're not circling me. Ooh, it's out here in the sun. There's the snakes. Snakes alive. I'm glad I didn't take the bypass trail. Well, it's really hot. Getting some of the best views of the trip. <laughs> 